So guys, uh, Magical Express is no longer going to be a thing starting January 1st of 2022. Uh, Becky, what do you think about it? Well, uh, so my family exclusively uses this. Um, ever since we stopped staying at Shades of Green, we don't rent a car. But I guess we're going to rent a car. Uh, luckily, my kids are largely out of the car seat phase, so boosters are a little easier for a couple of them. But man, like... Carrying all that stuff, even though we pack really light, the car seats alone was ridiculous. So that was one nice thing. We never did the luggage pickup thing because I'd rather carry my own crap and just get there. But it's like that's an added expense for us now versus just one thing that was, I'm not going to say it was free, but rolled into what we were already paying. And who knows what it looks like moving forward? Who knows what they're going to change? You know, Mears is still going to provide it at a cost. I'm not paying that cost. If I'm paying any cost for seven people, I'll just call it a day and rent my freaking minivan and then go where I want. <laughs> uh, you know, Uber and Lyft, not an option for seven passengers. So again, by the time I get two of them for round trip, that's just, that's stupid. Right. Like uh, we'll just rent a vehicle. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's frustrating, but who knows if there'll be something in the future if not, we'll just be able to more easily go more places if we want, I guess. Yeah, I, I think it was an, uh, an obvious money grab. I mean, they could have at least waited until the train was ready in 2023 and just say, hey, the train's taking away our business. We're going to shut down Magical Express <laughs> yeah. and just, you know, call that. But they were like, so like, no, we're just shutting it down because we're cheap asses. I mean, yeah. I mean, so so I did hear a rumor saying that uh, they are starting to bring back mini van drivers and that mm. they'll be retraining them. So I don't know if they're gonna maybe, I mean, cause if those were $150 just to get you to the airport, but maybe they'll well, lower the yeah. cost and then bring people in that way. Maybe. My family but still can't fit that. Yeah, it, it only <laughs> works for a family of four, you know, cause yeah. it's a five person. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll have, you, maybe so. they'll have vans too. I mean, who knows? I've been waiting patiently to say this, um, and I'm going to go ahead and move the mic into the, into the view. To, to, we got this. <laughs> Trains. <laughs> Trains. The short edit. What are you doing? Hey, Bobby. <laughs> I mean, you're insulting Walt Disney. I mean, that was like his favorite. I cannot emphasize this enough. <laughs> Trains. Jesus Christ. We're going backwards in time with so technology to, to service four people from Miami who actually want to come up here. No, the, the hell with that. Uh, no, forget this train nonsense. I, I'm sorry. This is a now that I'm a resident of the state of Florida, I have a very loud voice on this. Nothing, uh, trains have been nothing but financial boondoggles for every municipality that's ever tried to implement them. Just look at the state of California. It doesn't matter if it's Disney World, hell, it could be New York City. It doesn't matter. Fuck trains. So there we go. End of story. Is that hey, how you really hey. feel about it? Mic yeah. drop. <laughs> uh, don't drop the mic. We, we, we've got more recording to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I mean, trains are as efficient as can be in Europe. I'll put that out there. Oh, Europe. I'm all I'm all about high speed rail and uh, if we can get some I'm yeah. I'm game for it. Yeah but uh, my, my issue with these train this train conversation, the bright line is not going to drop you off at your resort. True. But everybody thinks it's the replacement, you're an idiot. It's not. Well, it's not like the Magical Express dropped you off you know, directly at the resort every single time anyway. You had to yeah, almost be lucky. Not for me. I, the, the last time that we rode it, we were not dropped off at the resort directly. We had to go to Fort Wilderness uh, and then uh, Wilderness Lodge and then over oh, to uh, Contemporary Bay Lake. Yeah, so, no, it doesn't it directly drive you off to the, to the Contemporary and drop you off. Not right. every single time. But so I guess that's resort. that's a weird way to look at it because it's still taking you to your resort. Whether it makes it's still stops thirty more minutes, it's still I, I mean hell, I could have had a fast pass plan. I don't know. Yeah, but you don't have to get your plan. luggage off of one vehicle and onto another. That's a big difference. Listen, I'm just saying it cost me more time than I thought I was going to have, and I missed a fast pass because of it. So well, you live in Orlando now. Play, I guess you don't buddy. have to worry about it. No, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, anyway. I don't even get to take the minivan home. That's the most disappointing part. 
Well, that's our thoughts on the situation here at Not Club 33. <laughs> Stay tuned for more NotClub33.com, guys. That's a wrap.